Jeffrey Fowler and you're watching 87 Days, the complete reenactment of all I did out on History Channel's Alone Show Season 3, but as if we did it here in Maine, and today we're going to finish off the bushcraft water wheel, install it in this beautiful river, and roast ourselves a chicken. Yeehaw! This is the Passamaquoddy, the river that I lost the reboat in earlier this year. And as you can see, she is not hardly the raging river it was before, but unlike a lot of the other streams, it's got water. Let's do this. It's not, uh, not the most ideal conditions. I walked down a little ways, and I walked up a little ways, and I was hoping for like a little sand bank, you know, kind of like how I had started out the water wheel. See the beginning, if you uh, are just tuning in, watch how I started it out. The ideal spot would have been a beautiful little sand bank where I could drive some steaks in, set the water wheel up, and sit there on my little beautiful little beach and roast the chicken. So I think I'm gonna have to improvise and build something in the water and then build up a little platform to have my fire in the water. Which means I'm gonna have to get my feet wet. I have to put it in backwards. It's meant to go like this with the current flowing that way. But uh, I think this will work. Right here. A little current. A couple more rocks to channel it. Yeehaw! Um, now I'm getting excited. Now I'm getting excited. And I don't have to build something out there in the water. I think I could probably roast the chicken. A little bit of work. I could be roasting it right here. Have a fire pit right there. It's a little less work than I found initially. Oh man. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's perfect for two, three speed. Hey, right, I just gotta build the cradle. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. There we go, now I just need a chicken. Where am I gonna find a chicken? Oh, I think I hear one. Got him, there we go. Put up a good fight. Still got some feathers. Let's do this.
nailing it. It is so close, almost done. I think I'll shoot my slingshot while I wait for the last little bit. Got these great little targets from Simple Shot. They're chalk balls, so you can shoot them at things and they blow up. But uh, got a little bit of this dum dum, I'm gonna stick it on here and I'm gonna use them as a target, a tiny target. <laughs> Those things are fun. If you don't have a slingshot, you should get yourself one. Let's eat this chicken. I think it's done. Oh my. A little real salt. Didn't bring a plate. <sighs> All right, oh man, look at this bird. Oh, it's just golden. Nailed it, nailed it. Oh, thank you, Lord for this chicken, for this time out in the woods. Oh, Jesus name, amen. All right, uh, are we gonna take off first? I think I'll, I love the legs. I am a huge, I love legs. Oh, oh man, rewards well earned. Always taste the very best. Mmm, about five hours of cooking. Oh, and smoking. This is like a cooked slash smoked chicken. Basically, I just kept it hot enough I couldn't keep my hands more than 10 seconds or so between the bird and any of the fire. Mmm, oh, that is delicious. What a blessing it's been to come home build this YouTube channel, be able to make all the things that I've dreamt of over the years, all the things that I've wanted to do, and then get to make this into a video for you guys to see. Oh, man, and I thought the turkey was good. Looks like this wing just wants to come right off. Look at that. Oh, it's one of my favorite foods now. Since I came home and and it's been over almost two years now. A year since it aired on TV and a year, but that whole starving yourself on like, you know, half rations that whole time, eating 63 fish and it really changes the mindset. That's permanently with you kind of thing. Even with the ketogenic diet, sometimes I struggle to like stop eating. Just look at the color on that bird. Man, that is so good. Oh, crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Those store-bought chickens, they're turning all day and they look beautiful. They're so dry. And this is just so juicy. Oh, Ah, save the neck for me! <laughs> Thank you, God, for chicken. I think, though, my favorite bird, though, is actually a guinea hen. They're a little tougher, but the flavor of a guinea hen, mmm. We raised a couple a couple years ago. And, uh, because we had brought them home for, to take care of ticks. And, man, that guinea hen, when I finally wrung his neck, Jamie cooked that thing up. They're like all dark meat. So good. So good. 
It does not get much better than this. Unless you got somebody to share it with. Can't wait till the littles are a little bit older and more resilient. You get about two to four hours out of them. And I've been out here for about seven or eight since I started the whole process of putting this in and roasting this. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the links below in the description for extended footages, uh, live streams that happened before the videos if you want to know more about what was going on here, as well as affiliate partners with this channel that are down below where you can shop and get the stuff that you see in this video, like the Wazoo necklace, my Amazon store, which has all the stuff I had out on a loan in it, as well as uh, my own website, FowlersMakerInitiative.com, where you can get my favorite survival gear, which I've chosen to sell, as well as my favorite slingshots and stuff. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time. Fowler out. Oh yeah, and tune in next time. See if I can't turn this into a phone charger. Bushcraft water wheel phone charger.